Okay, I'm gonna try some pellet ballistics here. Now this is my little setup. I've got four layers of foam core. I just wanna see how these uh, pellets will penetrate this. There's my little target. I'm gonna aim a little high to make sure I get between the, the uh, clamps there. What I'm using are these little daisy pellets and there's three compartments to this. I don't know if you can tell, but there are a little compartment of hollow points and then there's a pointed pellet and just a flat nose. Table sloped here. That's the pointed. You can see. So this is a neat little uh, sampling here of the pellets. Okay, that easily, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I'm not sure it even slowed that little pellet down. I wasn't really aiming for the target because I realized that if I got too close to one another, it would blow out the foam core. What I'm gonna do now is try several more thicknesses and see how that works. Okay, now what I have is, I keep getting my shadow in the way, nine pieces of foam core with uh, wrapped with duct tape to hold them together. And also the black tape is Gorilla Tape. And it's probably the strongest duct tape there is. So, and that's on both sides. So we'll see using these little hollow points how that comes out. I'm trying to trap a pellet so we can see what the, uh, you know, what if it's deformed at all or if it's just getting trapped. Okay, interestingly enough, there's a pellet right there. And I'm gonna try to dig that out to see. I didn't realize the, the foam core was backing up on me. There doesn't seem to be any deep formation. Of course, this foam core is soft. Um, now, the, the other interesting thing is that it did not penetrate the back. Although, if you can see, there are some places where it wanted to come through. Take these clamps off. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there are one there, one there, the one there, that one actually penetrated, I think. That's because there was a thin, a thin layer there. So 
where it went through. Here's where the here are the entrances. And I was trying to stay on the black tape, but I tried a few lower, trying to get them to penetrate. So let me see if I can dig through this. See if I can get these out. I'm going to use my new little uh, Gerber curve. I guess you guys have seen these. These are kind of cool. They've got a uh, little tools on there, little uh, Phillips head, a flat head, and a little blade. And I'm getting ready to see, um, and it does lock, it's got a neat little locking me mechanism on the side. I'm getting ready to see how sharp it is. I'm gonna cut this duct tape open. So you can see this is our, our the back. Not really any exits. Uh, and these, this is the front. You can see the penetration marks there. So what I'm going to try to do is cut through this a layer at a time. So that's our first layer. I don't know if you can see this, but you, you had some pretty good expansion of the pellet as it went through. It was a hollow point. Uh, let's just keep going. See if we can find one of these little boogers. It's awfully bright out here. I hope you can see this. The, the glare is really bad off this table. Now you're starting, we're on the third layer. You're starting to see some real damage as if the bullet had expanded, but I'm, after seeing these others, I'm not really sure that that may be more about the foam core than it is about the, the, the pellet. Again, I can angle that. One, two, three, four. This is the fifth layer. Sixth layer. Seventh layer. Aha! I see two pellets. See those two little babies? Let's see if we can get them out. See if there's any damage to them. Now that's well into that layer. Matter of fact, it had those two layers bound together. I'm gonna have to take, take my own curve and do this, but let's see. That's interesting because there is a little deform on the main. I don't know if you can tell or not. There's slight deformation. Play that there. Some of the pellets I took out earlier, you could almost put back in the gun, but I'm not going to. There's that one. Let's put it in my palms. See any better. I don't know if you can tell. Like I said, there's so much glare out here, I can't see. So that's the eighth, aha, uh -huh. look here. Pellet trapped. It almost looks like there's little ridges around the edges. I don't know. I don't remember seeing those little ridges. The the little the damage to the outside casing of it or the edge of it. And this is my last layer. So here's one pellet. This is the ninth layer of foam core. If I can show you that. Deformed enough to where you couldn't put them back. 
in the rifle. Now, take my little curve and cut this. Now, if any of you ever, have ever worked with Gorilla Tape, you know the Gorilla Tape is just really strong. It's probably the strongest duct tape. So, I actually was expecting the Gorilla Tape to keep it from exiting the back, which, and that's, the, that's what happened. But I think, if I peel this off, it's going to take the foam core with it. And basically that's all the damage we had done to the back. Just some minor. So anyway guys, I just thought that was interesting. Uh, it was to me anyway. Just to see uh, how many layers it would take a foam core. Now if you're not familiar with foam core, it's basically just uh, laminate on both sides of like a waxy paper. And I use it as a backing for like BB gun and pellet gun targets because it's, you know, it it helps slow that pellet or BB gun enough to where, you know, if you've got five or 600 feet of backstop, you don't have to worry about it, you know, too much. But, uh, and, uh, so anyway, there's a look at that. And, uh, Hope you enjoyed the video. And there's another look at the curve. Thanks, guys.